Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop Hoops Podcast. I am your host, Anthony Igadero. And I'm your co-host, Chris Blackwood. What up, what up, what up, what up? Let's go. Listen, we got a special guest with us today. Oh, alumni. The legend himself. Legendary. Over 30, 40 years in the game. OG the original, OG. The original of this AU stuff, man. Been doing it. Mr. Roe Russell is in the building. Straight up, man. Y'all were sperm we cells, guys, man. We Straight clock, sperm guys. cells when he was doing this. <laughs> oh, man. Ro, we appreciate you taking the time, sitting Thank down you. with us. The Thank new, you. The new setup, you know, we appreciate that. Um, we know you're a busy guy, so it's always love when you come on and so show some support, man. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Thanks. I'm back. He's back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> He's back. We're going to jump into this because you are now the head, the new head coach at Uchenna Prep. Or mm. you, sorry, sorry. Uchenna Academy. Yes, I mean, yeah, let me get, 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 get it right. Get it right. Academy. You know, Uchenna yeah. Academy. Yeah. So you are now the new head coach. Um, you're over there with, is Rohan still over there with you? Yeah, Rohan, Rohan Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. Yes. Who else is, is with you over there? Um, yeah, this, the um, director of operation is uh, uh, Mike Smith. And, um, and uh, John Clara is the, uh, the second team coach. Right. And the, his assistant, uh, Max. Right. And, um, okay. And, and we're looking to build it. The build it. We're bringing some um, a junior team, a junior prep team, and uh, right. and some more assistant coaches and some trainers and you know some different staff to you know hey. fill out the roster. You know. Uh, okay. So okay. so you 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 fell back from the game for a year. You were you you were the head coach at Crestwood. You built you built Crestwood up to be that this powerhouse. You had all these guys come out of that school. Obviously, uh, Elijah Fisher, um, Romadine. You know, you got Trey, Trey Thomas, and like uh, the, list goes, the list goes. The list goes on, right? Yeah, and you yeah. you built that, and you stepped away from Crestwood. Everybody unexpected. Everybody wanted to know. Okay, why did Ro Russell leave Crestwood? You know, is, is that something that you you want to elaborate and why you left Crestwood? And you fell back from the game for a little while. Yes. Um, well, basically, I just I built it up for, and I was there for eight years, and I right. I just felt it was time to, you know, move on and do something different. It was like a change of, uh, you know, venue, you know, right, ch right, right. change of uh, career, and it was time to move on. And um, I, I wanted to do some things individually, right, right, and, and be able to move around and do some things in America and over the world and. And a lot across Canada and all that stuff. So um, I just felt like, hey, let's do something different. You know? While you were away, did you did you miss the game? Did you miss it? Because that's all I know. When I talk about Ro Russell, basketball is just attached to it. Sex. <laughs> like there's nothing else. Like basketball, Ro Russell. Did you miss the game while you were away? It's been it's only a year, but yeah. still like Well, I, I did, but I uh was involved with consulting, obviously. Right. So I was going to different uh, prep school programs and AU programs and try to help uh, uplift them and, and build them and, you know, work with them on certain things. And so I was involved in that. And then I was scouting as well. So I was going to different cities across uh, North America and I was doing camps and, you know, talking to with programs and having, you know, clinics and, you know, ranking kids and helping kids get opportunities and so forth. And then I obviously, obviously I was, I'm, uh, organizing my AU program, Grassroots Elite Canada. So mm -hmm. I was so I was involved in basketball, uh, not as involved, but I was still involved. Right, 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 right. right. So, so the big question everybody wants to know, you know, because when you dropped that, you know, that post, you know, on back, everybody was like, well, <laughs> uh -oh. "What's yeah. going on here?" Yeah, so, and then you had that, you had that post on yeah. where exactly you would be coaching at. Yeah. The big question was. You know, why'd you come back and why you China Academy? Yeah. yeah. Well, basically, it, it was a very spontaneous because I, I was uh, consulting with you China Academy. Uh -huh. And uh, we were shooting the breeze uh, uh, one day and, and saying, you know, coach, you're, you're basically at you China Prep because you're here every day. You're helping out. You're recruiting. You're for us. You're uh, organizing the schedule and you're involved. So you might as well just come back. So. A lot of the people there were, you know, egging me on to come back and everything. And I was like, uh, if they do, I said, you know what? Because I wanted just to throw out something 
some yeah. charms to them just to let them go away. So <laughs> I was like, if they do this, this, and this, and this, I'll come back thinking that they would never, never do that. It. Bum, bum, and then bum, all of a sudden it. they said done. <laughs> and then I was like kind of caught and I was like, okay, I'll do it. It was a spontaneous <laughs> thing for me to come back in because obviously I had the bug, you know, to still uh, work with kids and help kids out. You know, it's a tough deal this year it is. Um, with, you know, players going division one and everything. A lot of guys, they won championships. They go, they won MVPs. They mm -hmm. scored numbers and they still don't have an offer, you know? So I wanted mm -hmm. to come back to help with that and still raise the game. I, I still have a lot of life left in me and I wanted to, you know, leave my mark still. Coach I feel your vibe. I feel that energy. What are you going to bring to that Uchana Academy? Great question. You know I mean? like, <laughs> that was my I next think, question. I think everybody wants to know because when you say I'm back, you're telling everybody playtime is done. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Who, it's who's officially just Royal over. Crown just won? I gave you guys your chance right? to build, yeah. and I was just sitting in the back. Yeah, I, I felt like uh, a lot of programs are coming up, and they're doing their thing, but I know what I could do. And I know I can, you know, do it at a very high level. Don't be modest. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Talk spicy. Talk spicy, man. And so I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the whole face and and a lot of upgrades and and a lot of new things and new ideas and bringing players from all across Canada and over in the states and overseas mm. and the whole nine. Just mm. build it up, just like I did with Crestwood. I'm gonna. You know, build it up. I really, really, really like Uchen Academy. I really like it. Nice gym. But the big the big game, how is the game gonna be when you guys face Crestwood? <laughs> well, it's gonna be just At like Crestwood. Another, if we ever play <laughs> Crestwood. At Crestwood. <laughs> it's just gonna be another game. Come on, right? Our sites our sites are set to beat anyone. Are you gonna mm, is you that are mean? you gonna take is that one like you just on the calendar? Crestwood. <laughs> No, March not 29th, really. let's it, it, go. Nah. <laughs> I need no, listen, a 30 I'm, I'm, point I'm super victory, petty. guys. I'm super petty. I'm like, circling that. That would be me. I'm circling that. Like, listen, that guys, if you guys don't beat these guys by 30, you guys are going to be running till you guys throw up next practice. Like, <laughs> what? No, I, I think it's going to be a, a friendly game because uh, I got a lot of friends and a lot of people that I put in positions at, at Crestwood and stuff like that. Young guys that I, you know, brought there and everything. So... It's not going to be personal. It's just going to be another game. It's another game. And the more personal games are going to be ones in the, in the U.S. and yeah. so forth where, you right. know, you want to make your mark and, and, and right. do your thing down there. So that's where it's going to be more personal. You yeah. know? That already. Do, you, do you have a schedule, like, to go to the States already? Yes, or? yes. I have a schedule already. I've been working it. The good thing I like is I have six months to put it together, you know, oh. whether it be recruits or the schedule mm. and different things that we're going to be implementing there. And so um, I also brought my son... Uh, Ravon Russell, shout out who, Ravon, who ran uh, uh, real Universal one. Hoops out of retirement too. Cause hey. now he's doing bigger and better things away from basketball. But I brought him in as a consultant to help with a lot of the media and social media stuff as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't Makes know if sense. you saw the video that we put. No, I, yeah, the introduction. I he's yeah. the one that put, put that, that together. together. That was dope. Nice. That was dope. That was dope. And that shows the level that he can still do it. You <laughs> <Yeah>. know. <laughs> so since you were consulting, like, and you weren't the head coach, like. You pretty much came into what you already consulted, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Are you going to yeah. be going to um, OTE or or or? Um... Yeah, we have intentions of doing that. We're going to make it big. We're going to be thinking about outside the box and and do a lot of things. You know, bringing them up here, going down there. We're going to, you know, really make it happen. You know. Right. Okay. So as, as far as recruiting, like, if what what kind of players are you, are you going to be recruiting players from the states to come? If I have a player and they want to come to you, China. How do how do we get that that well, thing done? They, they would originally they would uh, DM us in uh, at the U Channel website or or uh, Instagram or just DM me. You know, I coach uh, Ro Russell on Instagram, and uh, I'm looking to bring kids from all over, like I've always done from the U.S., um, all parts of Canada, mm -hmm. um, um, Caribbean, Africa, U uh, Europe. You know, just all over. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. private school, so they can, you know, have uh, international kids come, and we have housing there as well yeah. to house them. So it's it's a really good setup. It, it's very um, specific and and customized, where it's not too big. You know, it's mostly the basketball players and a few other uh, international kids, and uh, it's more specific and concentrated for just for them. Right. You know, so I like it better. Uh, you know, the school 
uh, is a trimester uh, curriculum. So you take two classes a day mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, you have a lot of time to train, practice, get shots up and drink condition the whole night. So it, it's, it's really good. It's a really good situation. Mm. Sounds, sounds right. phenomenal. Sounds phenomenal. Absolutely. A lot of these young boys coming up, at least now there's another avenue. There's another avenue to, to explore. Yes, absolutely. So absolutely. It's not, not even an avenue, an opportunity. Yeah, you know opportunity. Because I mean? now, you know, uh, being somewhere where they know that someone knows what they're doing, you exactly. know what I'm saying? And, and, and can bring coaches up here. Right. You know, like uh, even off season, they just got the job and I'm looking to bring three coaches up here already. And I don't know how many coaches came up the whole year. Right. But after the season's over, I'm looking to bring a, a few coaches up here already. Mm. So going to make it big. How many, how many roster spots? Are you, are you working with a clean roster? Like, how much roster spots do you have? Yeah, well, there, there's an a existing team from last year and um, another team that was the, you know, sort of the regional team. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some kids are leaving in terms of graduating and moving on to university. Mm. But I, I got to have a, a really competitive elite mm. team. So <laughs> I'm bringing kids from all over to, to make that happen. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I just had a... a uh, a thought of Deion Sanders going to Colorado. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you coming to Utah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling all of them like, "Yo, yeah. your spot's not guaranteed because <laughs> you got a plethora of guys coming in." You know what I mean? So I just hey, sorry, my bad. Just, <laughs> we're gonna give when him we a were chance. saying that, it's like boom, Deion Sanders, Colorado. <laughs> you, this is like the same same kind of thing. Yeah, I, I got a guard for you though. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, well, I got a guard. He, I'm bringing guys in all the time. To, yes. uh, no, but he won't be ready. Them. He won't be ready for like another like. Probably like six years. Oh, okay. Your son, his son. Ah, let's go. <laughs> his son is ready. <laughs> hey, we, we played his son in the, uh, in the CYBL. He torched us. So I'm yeah, definitely going to be recruiting him. You know what it is. I'm definitely recruiting him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to I wanna get into the transfer portal. Yes. That's, that's, a, that's a huge deal. This is probably the most we've seen ever. Like, we had Denim Brown, obviously one of one of the best to ever do it out of right. the c- city, mm-hmm, country. Mm-hmm. Period. Oh, yeah. um, Definitely. Definitely. And he he made he made he he said something. I'm gonna paraphrase. He said basically like, "What do I look like transferring and and run from this? Like, I would put a stain on on my legacy. I feel if I transferred, because as we know, like he went to UConn and they had how much times have they like recruited? I'm talking Anderson, Ben Gordon, like. They just kept going, and yeah. he still was able to manage to still gain his proper minutes, score over a thousand in his yeah. career at UConn. Yeah. Like he thugged it out, and um, that when when I, when I see the kids transferring, obviously circumstances I don't know full details. That's their personal business, but it always brought me back to that conversation we had with Denim. Definitely, when he said said that. But now we're like, how much? How much transfers are we are, are in the portal right now? Uh, approximately right now about fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Yeah. And right. this is just on guys, or this is all like uh, girls, just, just guys, uh, girls. I think last time I heard it was like six hundred. So wow. <laughs> almost two thousand. Right. For the whole entire thing, yes. and we're talking, we're talking major. We're not talking like just like. You know, bench players. We're talking like high majors. Like mm-hmm. obviously, Cheyenne is. She was ACC for a rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. She's she's out of there. You know, we don't know the specifics on why she's leaving, but something went wrong. Mm-hmm. Why she's leaving? You know, we had the year before that we had Tasha, where we everybody thought Tasha was gonna be like, you know, she's gonna be a for sure NBA WNBA player. She still has that or not that opportunity, but she left. From Texas, big time, went to Miami. Another big time. We got Elijah Fisher now. You know, last year's best player in Canada. Went to Texas Tech. You know, he's transferring. Like, I'm seeing a lot of the Canadian, a lot of our Canadian kids, they're in the portal. And then I'm seeing a lot of the American kids, they're not, they're not draft. What, 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 what's, what's happening here? What is happening? Well, I guess uh, student athletes are taking advantage of the, the one-time transfer rule. You know? mm-hmm. Before, like you said, they had to thug it out, they had to stick it out, yeah. and just, you know, for the sake of being tough and seeing it through, they would stay there and, and don't transfer. But now, when the transfer rule came up, 
that you can transfer and play right, right away, away. Right. now change the whole game. Because So how was it before, though? How, ex how exactly was it before? Because I don't think people know exactly how okay. it was. So basically, can you break it down? Before, if you want to transfer, you have to sit out a year. Red, mm. yeah, you have to red shirt, shirt and red sit shirt, out a year. Yeah. You can play. So not a lot of kids would do that. Not a lot of players would do that yeah, because sit out a year they would sit out a year. Tough. A lot right. of not a lot of coaches would take those guys to. They're basically putting two scholarships for one. Right. You know what I mean? Because you got to pay for the sit out year and for them to play. So right. a lot of coaches didn't do that. Right. But now their attention is over to the transfer guys because they can play right away. You know, one time were, were coaches able to like. Um, say you're under scholarship, was that, and I want to get out of that, that college, that intent. Could co could, could could coaches hold that, like and, in the and past, not, and they, not they, give it to you? Yeah, if they, and you were if, stuck. Yeah, you were stuck before because they they'd have to sign off for it, right? And, That's and, crazy. And if they if they refuse refuse to sign off, you can go nowhere. Then you can go anywhere. That's it crazy. A few times that guys happen yes, like that, right. and they had to just they had transfer to, to and sit out yeah. or or stay. You know, now the coaches have to let them. They'll get mm. uh, sanctioned by the NCAA if they uh, are reported to have uh, wow. stopped someone from transferring. So they have, you just go into the office and you say, Coach, I feel like it's my opportunity to, to look at other options and I'm going to go and transfer. Mm. You know, and, but on this, this other side of it, the flip side, now it's one time, one year renewable. So coaches can bring you in the office and say to you, you know what, it's not working out. Unfortunately, and let you go. Yeah, they let you go and tell you that you're not there gonna you play. Go. Wow. So there you go. look for another opportunity. And so, I don't think people know yeah. that angle of it. Yeah. Like I right. think people just see the player transferring angle, but they don't see. Hey, Coach come in my do. office. Yeah. You're just not working. Yeah, you know, if they I'm not say winning come with in your you. office. Then you know what that means. You know what that means. <laughs> Yeah, that or is even crazy. if the player said, "Can I, can I yeah, talk can to I, you? I, can I talk to you?" Right, right. They know what that means too. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, do you, yeah. do you think this transfer portal thing is a good thing or a bad thing? I think it can be a good thing, but it's kind of turning out to be a bad thing because forty percent of of players that go in the portal don't get anything. They have to go back home and sit out a year, or. Really? Maybe go D2 right. or NEIA to finish out their career. 40% wow. of all kids that go in the portal are players. They, they don't get why, why, why is that, though? I would Because think... there's only so much scholarships to go around. Right. You got your mm. high school kids coming up, right. which is totally, that numbers diminish. I was just right? going to ask that. Because they're looking over at the transfer they're portal. Because they would rather the a 23, 24-year-old kid rather than a, a high school kid that they got to... Uh, develop yeah. and nurture. And, so the projection and, and, thing is out yeah, the window now. Yeah. Like, you got to be like a for sure stud coming out of high yeah, school. Yeah, because they're trying to win. And right. They're trying to not lose their job. Right. Because yeah. uh, the ADs are more antsy now. Yeah. They'll look over there and see that guy's um, firing someone. They're firing someone too. Right. You know, because they're trying to get to the NCAA tournament. They're, they're trying to win a championship. So it, it's a, a, a lot of business is going on right now and it's affecting everyone. It's mostly affecting the high school kids. I think so. Because how like, is that? Explain to me. How, so, how, like how? for instance, every year maybe like fifty guys go D one from Canada. Right. So far this year, only one guy from the OSBA signed the scholarship early. So eventually, there might be only maybe five to ten that eventually go. What? Yeah. So it's crazy because they're not looking at the high school players. They're looking at the grown men right. that have been there and done that. They want those went through guys. that process already. That yeah. process. Well, so if you're, if you're if you're a head coach, Division yeah. One head coach, are you taking a high school or are you taking a transfer portal? You're looking at projection of the high school kid, or a for sure thing with a with a with a junior, somebody that's been through a system already. But it, will, already it, will it be a for sure basketball. thing though? If it's, it's a transfer for portal, sure. right? But I'll rather lean towards the more seasoned. Yeah, and the more physically developed, right? Right? Right, right, and someone yeah. that's been through the that, wars, they know how it right. works. You don't have to babysit them. Yeah, coaches don't have time to babysit players anymore. They want to just, hey, you know what we're doing. You watch mm -hmm. us on TV. You know how it works. Get to it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, question: You have an opportunity to take a freshman, the uh, guard coming out of high school. Uh, what's the kid that went to Baylor? He's entered. He entered the draft this year. Um, uh, he came out here for the global jam. For the global jam. Uh, kid, young kid from Baylor, super athletic. He he entered the draft this year. I forget his name. Uh, um, 
But would you rather take him? He was a he was a McDonald's All American. Would you take him? Oh, or would um, you uh, Keontae George? Keontae George. Would you take Keontae George coming out of high school, or would you take Caleb Love, who transferred from North Carolina? Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. So <laughs> the thing that the, the 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 trump card of it is if you're a five star, if you're a five star, you don't you're get affected. You don't, right. you don't get affected. They they know that you're a potential pro, and they'll take you based on where your skills are now and the and the opportunity for you to be an impact player, and then you know your level that you can go to to play pro. So mm. when you're five star, then you don't get affected. So everybody else gets affected. But remember, Keontae, I mean, um, Caleb Love was a five star too. He was a McDonald's All American as well. Yeah. So a lot of times, a lot of factors that you don't know, like for instance, uh, North Carolina had a really bad year this year. They didn't make the NCAA 40, tournament. Yeah. You know and I mean? they started and, preseason and, number and one. And they say, too. listen, I just need another start. I just need a fresh, you mm. know, opportunity somewhere else. Or maybe they say, I can get more NIL that over there. That's right. cool. Mm. You know what I mean? That's a lot of times that happens where it's an NIL game as well. Uh. So how much, like, how much has the NIL impacted this portal? Oh, big time. Uh, so for people that don't know, name um, image and likeness, mm -hmm. right? Where now you can get paid, you know, through a, a more legal process right. rather than doing undercover things and all right, that right. stuff. Now... Uh, kids might not be getting that much money and either their teammates or their friends at another school are, are getting a lot of um, NIL because of their alumni base or, right. or um, the corporate ties to that school. And they're going to go over there saying, I, I need this money. I'm going to go and get it and still get to play because right. I'm a veteran and they're going to want me more than they want a high school kid. So they know that... Um, Coaches are looking in their direction more now because they're physically developed. Right. They know the deal. They've been through the wars, and they're way more experienced. So it's it's a whole, as they say, smorgasbord of uh, of things going on there. I seen Angel Reese had the most nil deals. Yeah. I think she had like seventeen. Like that's oh, she more cashing than, in right now. More than like guys, she, more yeah, than yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She got the most. Yeah, she has the charisma. Like, yeah. Three hundred thousand or something blowing, like that. She's um, making and her, her, her um, uh, what do you call it? Her Instagram is huge. Yeah, and, up, and the people up. she knows. Yeah, you know, and she's really good. She's <laughs> yeah. nice with it. Yeah, she's nice with it. it, was, it Hold up, but Coach Izzo, Coach Izzo said something along the lines of, the the portal is hurting our young kids because it's not teaching them how to fail. You mm, know what I mean? Mm, Denim mm, said, like, yo, right. I could not quit. I could not, not quit, but I couldn't transfer because I'll leave a stain on my city, knowing that the city is up and coming right now. Like, I'm trying to show mans that there's hoopers in the six. And he was just like, yo, I'm going to thug this out, exactly. which he did. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Izzo, Coach Izzo saying, like, yo, this portal's not teaching our young people how to fail. What do you, what do you say to that? Well, I, I think there there is that point because it's, it's like old school versus new school. Definitely. That was the old school way. <laughs> right. But if you really think about it, maybe Denim Brown would have benefited if he, imagine if he from did. going somewhere else. <laughs> because every year he was there, here comes another All-American, here comes another pro, right. here comes another pro. And he might have been benefited by going somewhere else where there's space for him. Yeah. They wanted him to start for sure. You can and average he, 25. And he could average 25. And the, if the whole, uh, you know, future would be totally different now. So it's, it's, a it's, a it's a business. It's a business. And, and good people point. are taking... Because look what he did. Advantage. Look yeah. what he did with what he had. He was a second yeah. round draft. Yeah. Bottom so line. imagine he exactly. said, okay, other coaches seen, okay, this guy could play. Right. I'll take him on my team. Yeah, yeah, because now you can't mess with them. Before you can say, sit down <laughs> and wait your turn. Right. We'll get to you in a couple right. of years. Yeah, okay. No, you better treat them right now, now. or they're out. They're out. And they're, they're looking for other opportunities. Facts. And they're, they're out there. And, and the opportunities will be coming. Yeah. They're you coming. Know what I mean? They're coming. For sure. So question about NIL deals. Um, is it true that Canadians don't, they can't get those and they got to, it's like a certain way they got to do it coming across? How, explain that. Yeah, th there's a certain way they got to do it. I don't really want to you know, spread the whole, you know, right. formula about it. But there is a way they can do it legally right. in terms of making it happen because there's U.S. tax laws and uh, governance that happens when they are in the states. Mm. But there's ways that you can do it. So I, that's I seen something the kid from Kentucky, for another time. Yeah, the kid from Kentucky, he was like, I don't know, they was on, he was on ESPN and he was explaining that he doesn't get NIL deals. 
You you gotta know. You gotta yeah. know what it is. So I was like, right. you gotta not know what it is. I, and and if someone uh, DMs me, whatever, I'll, I'll let him know privately <laughs> what it's all about. There you go. Got that exclusive plug right there, man. But got yeah, that exclusive it, plug. A legal way. It's not like an undercover way. Right, or right, right. There's legal ways. So, but it's not been put out there for you to know generally. Right. But, but I think eventually it was because there is opportunities and there are Canadians that actually know about it and they're mm. they're doing it legally. You know what I'm uh, saying? Shout out my boy Latell. We had that conversation last <laughs> night. Latell <laughs> Vaughn. Um what is who what is the what's the most notable transfer portal coming out of Canada? And then I want to talk about US. Like wh which one for you? Would you say is Elijah Fisher? Ryan Neymar, like which is the well, biggest? Well, for the for overall from the U.S. or Canada, um, it, it'll probably be um, Kayla Love, who just who went into the uh, transfer portal. He's going to Michigan. Um, the the one that's still remaining in the portal is is probably um, Hunter Dickinson mm, from, Michigan from Michigan that's been projected to uh, go other Kentucky or whatever else. Mm -hmm. And so him uh, from Canada. The biggest is probably Ryan Emhart. Shout out Ryan, man. He, Shout out Ryan. His stock Ryan. got bigger from going from what he his performances he had in NCAA tournament, right. and he could really cash in on the NIL deals that's out there for him that might have not not been there at uh, Creighton. At Creighton. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And but the most named person is probably Elijah Fisher. Um, obviously, different controversies and things happened at Texas Tech, and he didn't play as much as we thought he would play. Yeah. So that there's, there's more opportunities for him at other schools where he can get some guarantees because a lot of times when you transfer um, and you go to portal, you can get guarantees. When you first go in there, it's like, hey, you can come, see what right. you do, see what happens. We can't guarantee nothing. But coming out of the, the the portal and being a transfer, now coaches are looking for, I need a transfer that starts. I need a guy to replace a guy that went pro. So mm. they, they need that position, that time, and that, that situation. So they'll be looking and giving you guarantees to come in and play, so it, it, that, it, so that's re that's a really good situation. Right, right. I want I want to I want to talk about Elijah Fisher real quick. Um, just always having conversations about him. Um, do you, do you feel Texas Tech was the right place for him? Do you think he should have went the route with um Leonard Miller went? You know, I I hear all conversations. You know, we feel like, you know, he should have went and played with Ignite. You know, took the money. It's just an up and down game. You know, people felt like his game offensively, he was more advanced than Leonard, but Leonard is still looking like a, a first round pick, you know, in his game. Shout out Leonard. You bro. know, his game. Because mm. a lot of college will expose you. You know this, Rev. College will expose you if you if it's not right. If your game ain't right, it will expose you. And I, I don't feel that way about Elijah, uh, that his game, like, I just think he didn't get the opportunity for whatever reason, right? I just Thanks. think just being on the floor, you know? Um, what, what, what do you feel about that? Do you think it was just, you know, that was the right decision? Should he have went to, you know, or you, or you can't talk about that? Well, you, you know, you never know the perfect scenario until you actually get there because right. these coaches, they, they, they tell you so much. <laughs> sell you a dream. <laughs> they sell you the dream and they tell you that they're car salesmen. And, and so, you, you know, if you don't really know them like that, it's a it's a crapshoot in terms of is it going to work out? It's not going to work out, and unfortunately, you have to spend a whole year once you get there, you know, to to go through it if it if it's starting to look like it's not working out. Mm -hmm. But and and overall, it's it's you know talking to Elijah and his family, it's made him a lot better. Right. You know, he worked on his game. He went through adversity. Um, he had to go through some things and and really you know, value defense and value rebounding and competing mm. his butt off and, and value getting as much time as you you can get and doing positive things with it. So wherever he goes next, he's going to be that much better. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look for that, that that you know, lemonade and, and lemons, you know, sometimes <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah. just say, woe is me, because he has a great opportunity to transfer and play right away play right and away. have a lot of schools that will recruit him right. and offer him to where he'll get back to where he was before. Right, right. Right. Well, he's going to make I mean? it lemonade. I'll be making my Smirnoff ice, <laughs> watching him do his damn thing. I can't wait to hear where he's going, man. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know. That's going to be... I can't wait to see where he's going, and then I can't wait to see where, obviously, um, Cheyenne... Oh, that's... I can't wait. Know, that's that's, that's going to be big time for them both. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Even Ryan, too. 
Oh yeah, and, and Ryan too. Yeah, yeah. that one was I was I was shocked with that one. I because he just played so well for two yeah. years over there. So yeah, that kinda, yeah. So that's a reason, right? Not right. because you played so well. Yeah. Now you can upgrade your Upgrades. opportunities oh. and, and move to that higher level because oh. of how well you play in in the so the so stage. That, that's how the game is now. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, it is. It's it's totally changing and, and it evolved to that level. So right. you might if you're there, you might as well take advantage of it Thanks. rather than stay where you are and whatever. So. Uh, that's more power to them, you know, to take advantage of what's there. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm very. I, I would. I want to see the game, Tasha and and Cheyenne. That was like that, we were gonna go down there. Yeah, that was gonna be a big time yeah, game right there. Dope. Let's see if she stays in the ACC. Yeah, yeah, they you might know? play. Who knows? They might play together. Who knows? Imagine it. <laughs> is, 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 well, there is a point guard slot open on South Carolina. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, just saying. Who, who knows? It's just saying. You know, you toss up and wherever it's gonna land. I'm you know? saying South Carolina did have four girls in the draft this year. Four, She's five. five. She had five. 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 Oh, man. Snap. She five. didn't win the championship, and she took five. <laughs> yeah, she won. She that's had like seven. That's like Rick Pitino. Eight. She's on yeah. a. Rick, no, it's not yeah. Rick Pitino. I'm saying um Calipari. Calipari. She's on a Calipari stuff. That's some dope. That's five. Shout out to everybody. There was another one after, okay. Right. Yeah. I didn't even realize yeah. that. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, I want to move on to to Demarcus Cousins, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just signed to go play out in the D- Dominican Republic. Yeah. It was crazy. so weird because this I, I was like it was all over, and he just like I'm the third best center in the NBA, mm-hmm. and then boom, he signs to go play in Dominican. I'm like, okay, you're not in the league, you're in Dominican. Yeah. Man. It was just really really weird, but. Should he be in the NBA? Like, oh, yeah. You got guys. Like, it was an interesting point where uh, Kevin Garnett, he was like, well, Ben Simmons, like, you got your back. You got this. And there's guys like Carmelo, Dwight Howard. They can contribute to a, a contender. Or and yep. if you put them on a trash team, Carmelo could probably still give you 18 a game. Right? Do you, do you feel he should still be in the league and given an opportunity? Yeah, for his size and, and his pedigree, and his experience and how good he was and and probably how good he still is. Mm-hmm. Like I see them like one on one and dunking on Kevin Garnett. I mean yes. Kevin Gar uh Kevin Durant. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, he still has it. But unfortunately, there's more behind the scenes that teams don't want to deal with mm-hmm. that he does uh, off the court and all that stuff. So unfortunately, it, they want fresh new faces in there. Right. You know, a I young twenty-year-old that can the, do the same thing, right? You know, yeah. It's it's more it's more off the court stuff with with with, yeah. with Boogie, I believe, yeah. man. He's he just such a firecracker. Like he can just go from uh, one to a hundred real quick, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I think that's what a lot of teams are afraid of. And they're but, going younger too, which I don't yeah. think is smart. I think you need a sprinkle of the, that veteran leadership in the locker room you know what i mean mm-hmm. i think he can be that though I, I, he can definitely yeah. be that. so yeah, question tristan kids thompson kids right just got signed to the Lakers. yes yes are you taking tristan thompson or are you going to take demarcus cousins yeah because let, let, let's keep the biasness away I, I, are you I, taking I, tristan thompson <laughs> okay. or demarcus cousins I, I, that's I the question biased, but at least you know that tristan can rebound you know yeah. you know okay yes. rebound and he's gonna you know Play as a, as a system guy. Rev, are you taking the Marcus and Cousins? Great, and he's a great locker Are you taking guy? Tristan Thompson? Which one are you taking, Rev? I need I'm, answers. I'm taking Tristan Thompson. We go, uh, we go because grassroots. I, I know what he's. I mean, I know what he's going to bring to the table. <laughs> Listen, right? And by now, hey, he has a ring. Yeah, and he has. He's, he's played with the, he, one of the greatest proven. ever, and he, he's he can bring a lot to the, that that locker room. Ro Russell, are you taking <laughs> Tristan Thompson or Demarcus Cousins right now? Who are you taking? I'm taking Tristan Thompson. Told you, man. I know he that he you. can rebound. Let's cut, cut, he cut, can cut, change cut, up cut, shots. Cut. Let's say this. Out. I'm asking you off man. record. Come on, man. Go with, go with yeah, Tristan Thompson. Answer ain't gonna change. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Boogie, he, Boogie also tapped into some things where he said he was talking about um the Joker the situation. Joker. You wanna, you wanna. Yeah, the Joker. He's basically saying. If he, if uh, Joker is supposed, to, if he were to get his third, his third MVP, straight. you know what I mean, his third straight MVP, because he's only, leading the race only, right now. Only Larry Birds has ever done that, right? Right. Win three like back to back to back MVPs since um, I think since Bill Russell. Mm. Okay. I think Bill Russell did it. He did back it. In the day. Okay. And then he's basically saying, so are we gonna basically crown him as the best center ever? ever. Like you know, the best better than Shaq, ever? better than Tim, better than Hakeem, you know. And I'm like, 
That's a very good point. Yeah, that's a very he, good point. He had not won a chip. Yeah. You know what I mean? Has and he my, even made it to and, the finals and, yet? In my eyes right now, he's like the center version of Westbrook in regards wow. to like <laughs> just generating triple doubles. You know what I mean? And not winning no chip. But this is the conversation I had with you. I don't care if my center is, is, is averaging 10 assists. Can you rim protect and can you rebound? Right. That's what I need my center to do. But I he's need rebounding to, as well. I need him to That's rim protect, but, but, but he don't rim protect. But he don't rim protect. That's the problem. Yeah, he doesn't. Right? Embiid rim protects. Right. Yeah. He alters shots. He does. Right? What, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, it's a very good point. You know, uh, when you uh, compare him to the greatest, like uh, uh, Chris mentioned, that there's no way. No and, way. Uh, you know, but they're number one right now, and he's making a case uh, for that number three. Does he you have know? the blueprint? Jo- because it's like it's, it's, he's always in contentions every I know. year. Westbrook had, Westbrook had yeah, the blueprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get them triple doubles, man. <laughs> right now, I think uh, Embiid is, is, is a little bit ahead of him, and we'll see how he right. carries that all the way through. But it, sh- it, w- the, the, it should be over as far as the ranking-wise, right? Like, whoever... It doesn't carry into the playoffs, and then whatever you do in the playoffs, yeah, right? it does. It's a regular uh, season award. Yeah, I think there's a little small, you know, amount of consideration for the right. playoffs, but majority of it for is for the season right. that's just ended or ending. So who's your MVP? Is it is it Embiid? It's Embiid. What about Embiid. you? You said Giannis, right? I, I'm going with Giannis. I gotta you know go. I gotta go. With Embiid. I think Embiid got robbed like twice already. Yeah, yeah. He did. So he did. He did. I, I think he deserves it. Um. But Giannis said five years in a row. Him. I just look at Embiid like that fifty-two point game against the Celtics and won, that and he big. finally beat the Celtics. That was big. I think that just. And then if you look at the numbers, he's leading. This is I think it's his second year leading the league in scoring. Second yes. or third year. Yeah. He, you know, right. the rebounding. You know. Yeah. There's been a while since the center. And, and yo, that, I was pushing uh, for Joker. Scoring. You know. Until the man OG, OG Ananobi locked him up twice. <laughs> twice. Shout out OG, leading the league in steals. Better make all defensive. To me, rookie, to me, defensive player of the year. Real talk. But that's over, a story for over, another day. Over the kid from um, Memphis? Hell yeah. Jaron Jackson? Yo, his blocks are really think? deflections. But they're giving him, they're counting it as blocks. You know what I mean? Oh, I seen the, I seen, yo, me and my dude, shout out Kent at, at Westview. You know, I got my little... My little statistician at Westview. <laughs> Kent, shout, shout, out out, shout out Kent. You know what I mean? And Kent showed me, like, the blocks that he's getting, they're deflections, my dude. Like, he's just tipping, like, he's catching the ball when it's going up. Like, he's... Who's doing that? OG? No. My guy from... Jaren Jackson? Yes. Because right now, he's up. He's, he's going to get Defensive Player of the Year, apparently. All right, we about to, we about to move But on. anyway, shout out OG. <laughs> Lead the <laughs> league, man. Leading the league in steals, baby. <laughs> Come on, man. I just wanted to throw my Raptors. I got to throw in the Raptors, man. I got it. Yeah, you, you, um, OG should get hmm. that, but you're right. I think Jaron Jackson, Jackson will get I it. Think, I think I seen something where they said Evan Mobley was, like, going to win it. Did you what? see that? Nah. nah, you got to bring in Evan Mobley, man. That's your I'm guy. I'm just, man. I'm just Come saying on. that's what good, that's bro. what they said. Good, Anyways, man. playoffs are here. Oh yeah, you know we 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 got our Raptors. <sighs> we 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 got Raptors. We, we got to talk them, baby. Um, they play Chicago. Yep. What is it? What is it looking like? Bro? I'm scared. Hold up, man. Let Red <laughs> answer. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Right I know right now, how you baby. feel. We gonna win the championship. I ask you. <laughs> let me, know, let me ask Red. 2019. Red, how trying. do you feel? <laughs> are we? Are we gonna? Because we gotta win two. We're the AC. We gotta win two. We gotta win. We gotta win. We gotta. Don't we gotta win two? We gotta win two, man. Yeah. So we gotta be. We gotta be Chicago and then Atlanta or Miami. Yeah. I, I think there's a a great opportunity for them to squeak out that 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 victory. You know, shot the world. I, I Talk think to that him, coach. I, they, they have good chemistry. Yup. And the guys are kind of peaking now. Mm. Uh, I recently went to the um, the game. Obviously, Giannis didn't play, and Middleton didn't play. Giannis did a lot against and, the Raptors and, and, and so those. forth. But um, they play really well together now. And I think they can they can get if they get the first win. Then I think they're gonna win it. Oh, mm. Let's go. They get and a win at home. I think they can get it. Let's not forget Raptors leads the league number one. In steals. In steals? In steals as a collective. Well, we always, uh, we're so always great. They say, a they say team. in the playoffs, everything slows down in the half court. Right. Yeah, mess around. All I just need my rap to do is just shoot that ball, man. Just shoot it. Take it and make it. Because right now, you be, when you guys miss some couple shots in a row, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough, man. But I, I put my hat on our defense right now. So, DeMar's here. Levine. Why? 
I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I ain't nervous. I'm bro. nervous a little bit. Um, any surprise teams? Like, um, I hear a lot. Golden State, they're gonna be Sac. What do you guys think? Who wins that matchup? Sac don't play no D. They, they but can put the ball in the hoop. <laughs> they can put the ball in the hoop. It's like the highest, lead. what is it, the, the best offense, like efficiency ever or yeah, something like that? Yeah, yeah. And um, Mike Brown obviously has done a great job with right. them over there. Right. He should be definitely in coach of the year. Coach of the year. For sure, coach of the year. Even yeah. for other teams that have better records and I, so I, forth. I, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, he, he, but I think it's going to go down to the wire. That's going to be a real close. Like, it's going to take one of those crazy shots with someone flying in his face for them to, by Curry, to yeah. to, to beat them. It's going to come down to the wire. It's not going to be a, a blowout. So who, or, do you, who, do you, who do you have? But at the end of the day, because of playoff experience and all that stuff. Pedigree. Yeah, you know, the, the, the Golden that. State's gonna win. I think that's when they, okay, guys, let's do this. Yeah. Let's mm. let's wake up now and you know forget you know fooling around and let's play. Yeah, you know that's when Demar, um, Draymond Green comes out of play and all those guys they they get with it. So I think they're gonna pull it off at the end. But it's gonna be a very very close and exciting um, you know se series. What about you, you got you got you got Golden the... State in six, man. Golden State. I'm I'm gonna take sack, man. Why? I'm gonna take sack. You had to. The man. reason why I'm gonna take sack is because I think they got two all NBA guys. Like Sabonis is is gonna make an all NBA team, and so yeah, is, is yes, yes, and, and so is Fox. Right. And I think the problem is Golden State has no answer for that interior, like zero. Like Kevon Looney's gonna have a problem yes, dealing with that true, guy Sabonis. True, so right. um, I think I'm gonna go with sack. On right, that one. All right, all right. We'll Sun, Suns and, and, and um, Clippers. Who you guys got? You want to go first, Coach Rowe? That's a tough one. Because everybody's saying the Suns, but I don't know about that. Like, Clippers are loaded, man. I'm it, sorry. It, a, a very a fully healthy Clippers will win. Like, they're, they're tough, man. Yeah, they're, they're so talented. And they got the bigs, too. And, and, and Westbrook is... It's playing inspired basketball and he right ain't now. Scared. He's hitting shots he's now. Not scared. He's hitting shots. Hit, was that photoshopped or did he it's really hit that shot? No, no, it's photoshopped. The finger, no, it's photoshopped. It's photoshopped. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, you you're look, rude. Off, like, he did, like, he you're did rude, thing. B. No, yeah. it's, it's photoshopped. I know you're talking about. <laughs> like, bro, I can't be doing that. To, <laughs> I have to look all, all over right for that there. clip, yo. Like, what? This guy's feisty, but you got who you got in that? Suns, Clippers. You think fully healthy? But but they said fully healthy. They said that. PG won't be there in the beginning. Right. He won't uh, play in okay. the beginning of the series. Yeah, that yeah, that that has some ramifications if he, it depends on there's, there's how still long. still got some guys, man. You know who's playing really well? Norman Powell, man. Oh, man. yeah, he he's is. He's playing well. Yeah. Super sub right now. He's yeah. playing well. Understand the grind, man. Yeah. He's playing really, really well right. right now. I don't know, man. That series is up in the air for me. I don't I got, know. I don't know about I got, that one. I got, I got, I got to rock with CP3, man. I got it. He Phoenix. looking, he looking better the last couple of weeks, man. Come on, man. man. He's adapting. Legs look like they're. He's yeah. getting all those open shots, though. Come on, man. KD getting doubled. See, three three that yeah, shot. I mean, pick your poison. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I say, I say, uh, Phoenix and seven. Uh, mm, it's going down to seven. Clippers, Clippers got the depth for they sure. They do. They do. I think. I think Zoo Phoenix. Box. Phoenix yeah. is like maybe seven, eight deep, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And health is gonna play a, a factor too. Mm. But um. KD, I think he wants to get a little get back to Kawhi. Kawhi got that chip 2019 with the Raptors. I have to throw that in. You know what I mean? When he wasn't there and everybody was like, Kawhi took down KD. He did. He how did. You, how did he take KD when KD wasn't playing? I'm just saying. He was how on the roster. How did he take KD down he was on the roster. He was on the roster. He was KD's, on the roster. KD had a busted Achilles in the hospital. Was he not on the, the roster? <laughs> did he not play in game, was it game three or four? Woods, the guy had a busted Achilles did he not in the play? hospital. <laughs> did he not play though? I'm just saying. The, one, the one game, the one game that he played, he won that game. Yo, they won yo, that game. listen, man, listen, listen. He played one game and they won that game. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Anyways, Kawhi listen. locked him up, so it's his get back time now. You know how, what I mean? how are you guys feeling about the Lakers? Because everybody's talking about the Lakers, this, the Lakers, that. Everybody feels like, and I'm not saying plays. I'm I'm more saying the media. They feel like the Lakers are going to win this West. That, that feels to me a little hidden agenda ish. That feels a little. Hidden agenda-ish only because, like, the Lakers can do no wrong. They play mediocre teams. They just beat the Bulls the other day or whatever. No, they just beat Phoenix and Katie wasn't playing. And they're just making up all this noise like they're here. Yo, they may lose to Minnesota. Because I seen a stat where 
Cat actually plays well against AD. He does. You know what I but mean? But it's like you, you you don't have you don't have the the Gobert. He's just silly. Every, for, but my thing is everybody. Was that a punch that he did? Or it, it looked like a, a box. It was a like, slap in the chest, ah, bro. Like, don't come say on, that man. to me. Like he just. Yeah, like it was a box in the chest. Yeah. I, I were, are you gonna suspend him for that? I'm not suspending. I'm not him suspending him, man. Just, just to make a statement, you gotta give him one game. Got to? Yeah, you gotta make it. Uh, this is, yeah. Draymond didn't even get suspended. He took time away. I gotta take time away from <laughs> yeah. punching this guy. He didn't even get suspended. <laughs> take that in. Right? I need sucker punch this guy. I, I, know, makes... not, I don't think the NBA won't suspend him. It right. might be internal. Right. I don't I don't know if I could do that, man. They're they're they they to me feel? that makes no sense. What do you guys feel about the Lakers? Are they gonna they they got Minnesota? They're going to Maybe their first round matchup could potentially be uh, Memphis. Uh, Memphis. Memphis gonna be um, out, man. or like, Denver. One of the two. They lose to uh, to, to Minnesota. To Minnesota. If they lose, that's gonna be a, the joke of the night, and no one's gonna talk about it. No one's gonna talk what, about. What are your thoughts with the Lakers? Because everybody feels like they're going to the yes. Western Conference. Yes. They got the I, easiest I, route. To I, the I'm not a big Lakers fan, but I think just now how they're playing and uh, AD's healthy and. Obviously, LeBron is, like, turning the switch on for the playoff run. He knows his time is getting short. So they'll definitely beat Minnesota. It's going to be hard if they play Denver. That's mm. going to be a hard matchup. What about Memphis? I think people are sleeping <sighs> on, on Memphis, man, and Denver. I think people are just looking at them like I, they're I think terrible. Lake, if Lakers, Lakers can beat Memphis. They can't beat Denver. Mm. But in a series, they can beat Memphis. Mm. What's gonna, what is it going to take? AD... Yes. AD. Yeah. The, the AD that we thought was going to be the best player in the NBA, the MVP. I never think that. When, when he first was coming from no, no, not me. I New Orleans, we, we <laughs> thought the potential was there. Like first yeah, year, yeah. Going Listen, to, after they won the first I trip, thought Rasheed Wallace was the best the second, power forward in the league. Second, <laughs> the second year after they won the oh, chip, we oh. thought that AD is his turn to take no, over the I NBA. Ain't never, I ain't never think that ever. <laughs> right. Not ever, 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 ever. AD is who he is. Because we didn't know about him being that uh, injury-prone guy at that point. Yeah. Okay. Until, like, the third Don't year. Say Tim. Tim, man. He has all the heart. He can't control, like... Listen, wasn't he, like, uh, a point guard coming up and then he had yes. a massive yes. to growth spurt? Yeah, listen to me. I seen AD jump in the air. Perfectly fine and go, get bro. hurt in the air. He's like this. Go, hey, stop it. How man. does that happen, Rev? You've been, you, knee, you you've been around players out. all your life. Out, he jumped in the air no, and he was ah, in the hyper air. Extension How? Of the road, bro. It happened. Did he get a it foot happens, cramp? Man. What happened it in happened. the air? He jumped like this in the air. Have you ever seen that before, Rev? Come on. I admit, you've never seen that before, ever. Shout out AD, man. Don't listen to this guy, man. You've seen that before? Huh? You've seen that injury before? I've seen, in the air injury? Listen, 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 listen. Come on, man. I've seen Carlos I've never Boozer, seen that. Carlos Boozer fall down the stairs, done himself. That's the I've stairs. I've seen, I've seen AD I've, jumped I've seen, in the air and wasn't touched. <laughs> ah, I see in Brown, the air. Brown from Boston was doing some lawn work. Cut his hand. Look what you're I'm saying. I'm just saying, it happens. You so it's it's happened where you seen a guy jump in the air, mid-air like this. Yeah. Ow, in the air. You've seen that before? Crap. I just heard something crack. I'm, I, can, I can get up. I just heard something I, crack. I, I can get up. Fine, I'm good. I'm just saying it's happening. I'm bro. good. I can get up. You know I mean? AD fell and couldn't walk. Listen, listen. Anyways. Shout out AD, uh, man. I got you. So I got do you, you feel man. the Lakers could get to the finals? Yes. And you just think? I think AD's nice. Don't, and, don't, don't go no, no, back no. now. You just got I'm them not, hyping I'm, AD up. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back. But there's always a Lakers could do this or reach all this success if. 80s healthy. Yes. That's that's you gotta a, put the asterisk that's there. That's a big if. So you put and that's the asterisk you there. You never know. So, okay. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the lake is, man. But I don't think I don't think they're gonna beat Memphis. And I don't I, think I don't they're know. gonna beat uh, a Denver. Okay. Um going to the east, man. We got we got the playing games. Yeah. We got Miami and uh Atlanta. We yeah. got the Raptors in Chicago. What are the outcomes? What do you guys see with those things happening? Can't bet against Jimmy Butler, man. Something about playoff Jimmy. You hate that, you hated his his fake dreadlocks. Like I did. Those, I like, those are extensions, my dude. What are you, <laughs> you doing? You hated his extensions. <laughs> you, you put an extension in your hair, fam. Right off the bat, Pat Riley knew his his mind's not in it. Yeah. Look how long. Look how quick he had to turn that get them get them cut off. He took them during the game or something. Yeah. Right? Like, I was like, Come on, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Your head's so, not in the game. So you got a, you got you got Atlanta. I mean, you got Miami beating Atlanta. Yeah. 
Okay, and, then, got and then you got the, you got Raptors obviously beating the Bulls. I got Raptors beating the Bulls. What about you, Rev? Same thing. Yes, same thing. So then that would mean we got um, we'd have Miami playing. Was it Milwaukee or Miami no? Raptors playing, playing Milwaukee. Ma- Raptors play Milwaukee. Miami plays Boston. Okay, so we got Philly and Brooklyn. I, I got mean, Philly. Everybody got Philly. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Shout yeah, out Brooklyn, though, Jock Van. He did an amazing team, job. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, if Steve Nash would have had that same roster, no, Kid no, no. Canada, I know no, you did the no, same no, no. thing. No, 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 we ain't. We're not doing that. We don't do that. <laughs> no, Kid no. Canada, salute. you can't. You can't let a team go on a 24-0 run and not call a timeout, sir. <laughs> Let's stop that. Um, we got the four and the five, the Cavs and the Knicks. Ooh, I say that's a game seven, but I got yeah, Cleveland doing it. That's gonna be a tough it. series. That's a, it's going on to I, wire. What do you think about Brunson, man? And his emergence. Because Dallas must be kicking themselves right now yeah. for letting them Let go. Them oh. and they could have paid cheaper to get him. Could have for cheaper. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, literally, literally. Um, Brunson's, I've, I've known his father since when he played. Yeah. And uh, Mark Cuban's mad about his dad. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thought his dad was a nuisance, but, yeah. you know, it would have been worth it to keep him now. Oh, for but, sure. but, but definitely, I, I think um, New York's going to edge in seven against. Mm. Um, yeah, that's oh. what I'm going with. Okay. I'm going with the Cavs in that series. Oh. Yeah. I think it's going to go game seven. Right. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going Cavs in seven. But we, we all agree that. Yeah. It's going to go seven. seven. Yeah. So Definitely. the question the question before we go is, who who wins the championship? I'm still right. Who's the NBA champion? Jalen Brown, the, the hand right now is concerning me. I know is John t- Morant's hand okay? Or is I don't it? know. I don't know about John Morant. Okay. Who, who's, the, who's, the, who's the champion? Who? I'm going with Boston. I'm going to stick with Boston, man. It, it, it'll be... Obviously, the Bucks and Boston in the East Conference Finals, mm. and it'll be the um, the Lakers and and Denver. Suns? And can Lakers and can can the uh, Lakers play Denver or are they on the opposite they can't play side? Denver. So who's on the other side? It's gonna be Suns, Clippers, uh, Warriors. Okay, and Warriors. Yeah. yeah, it'll be Lakers and Warriors, and um, I, I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Giannis. I'm gonna go with the Bucks. Okay. For I, I NBA, would love to see NBA a Boston, champion. Boston Warriors part two. I like mm. to see that. I'm gonna say Boston's winning the championship this year. They got too many shooters over there. Well, with Boston this year. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm gonna say. But Coach Rowe, man, thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you Definitely. for blessing us once again. Yeah. The gems in regards okay. to just the information about the transfer portal and the he even came with percentages. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um Good luck with uh with you with your channel academy. With Uchana academy. <laughs> we will be there. We definitely will be checking you guys out oh, this for year. For sure, for sure. And um yeah, man, thank you for the support once again. Always a pleasure, brother. Yeah, it's always good to be here. Um multiple times now, like probably three or four times now. And yes, it's sir. always good to hang out with you guys and, and see you guys are doing a great job and thank uh you. you know, keep it going and much support, much love. And I just want to say that um, I give all honor and glory to God for what Absolutely. I'm doing right no. now. I wouldn't Always be here first. without uh, God strengthening me and, and keeping me. Amen. Absolutely. For sure. Amen to that. Amen for that. Yeah, man. Yo, you already know what it is, man. Continue to support Hip Hop Hoops. Follow us on Instagram. Follow on YouTube. Subscribe. You know what I mean? Like. Boost our algorithm a bit. You know what I mean? Apple Podcasts. Spotify. And most definitely, you know what I mean? Title. Check out the, check out the website, too, Check out man. the website, Go for on sure. the website, man. Get the, don't forget the website, definitely. And title, man. I just think cousin, man. You know what that is. Title, you already know this. We're Hip Hop Me Toops. Salute. Uh-huh.